If you've ever tried creating the same AI character twice, you know exactly just how frustrating it can be. You generate an image, love how it looks, then try to recreate it in a different scene, and suddenly everything's different. The face changes, the hair's wrong, the eyes are a completely different color. This inconsistency kills any chance of building a story, a brand, or even a simple content series. But there's actually a way to lock in your character's identity so they look identical across unlimited generations, no matter what scene, pose, or outfit you put them in. And by the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to create consistent characters that you can reuse forever, whether you are building comics, games, YouTube content, or anything else that needs consistent faces. Now, I tested multiple platforms for this, and OpenArt gave me the best results by far. OpenArt is an all-in-one AI platform that lets you generate images, create videos, design consistent characters, and edit everything in one place without needing multiple subscriptions. What makes it different is that instead of treating every image as a brand new creation, OpenArt actually trains a dedicated model that remembers your character's features. That means once you set it up, your character maintains the same face, same proportions, same identity every single time. And the process is way simpler than you'd think. By the way, if you want to follow along, I'll leave a link to open art in the description below so you can start creating while watching this. So let's jump right in. When you first sign into open art, you'll see the main dashboard with different sections on the left side. What we're looking for is a character option. This opens up the character creation workflow and you'll immediately see three different methods you can use. The first option is start with description, which is perfect if you have a character in mind but no images yet. The second is start with one image, which only requires a single reference photo. And the third is start with four plus images, which gives you maximum consistency if you have multiple reference shots. Now, what most people don't understand about this is that other AI tools usually need dozens of training images to create a consistent character, and even then, the results aren't always accurate. However, open art can do it perfectly even if you have no images, which is honestly insane. But even though text to image generations work, the more references you give it, the better your results will be. It's the same with starting from one image. Think of it like this. If you only show the AI one photo of someone's face straight on, it has to guess what they look like from the side or at different angles. But if you give it multiple perspectives, it understands the full structure of their face. So while you can absolutely start with one image and get solid results, I'm going to show you the complete method that gives you professional level consistency. The first step is creating what I call the foundation image. This is the single most important image in your entire character library because your character will be based on it. Go back to the main open art homepage and click on image on the left side. This opens the image generation workflow. In the model selector at the top, click switch and choose open art photorealistic. This model is specifically designed for creating natural lifelike faces and that's crucial here. If you use a generic model, you'll get that plastic artificial look that instantly makes people think it's AI generated. But open art photorealistic creates realistic skin texture textures, natural lighting, and believable facial features. For the prompt, you want to be specific about your character's appearance. Don't just write a woman with brown hair. Instead, describe exact details like skin tone, hair texture, eye color, facial structure, and even personality traits that might influence their expression. Let me give you an example of a strong prompt. Photo of a young man in natural outdoor lighting during late afternoon. He has deep brown skin with a warm undertone and a clean shaven face. His hair is cut short in a neat fade with tight coils on top. His dark brown eyes eyes are focused and determined, with thick eyebrows that frame his face. He has a strong jawline, high cheekbones, and a subtle smile that shows confidence without being overly expressive. He's wearing a simple gray hoodie with the hood down and a silver chain necklace. His posture is relaxed but attentive. Notice how detailed that is, but it's not complicated. You're just being specific about the features that make this character unique. However, if you're really struggling with prompting, here's a quick tip. You can go into ChatGPT and ask it to help you build a detailed character description. Just tell it something like, create a detailed character description for open art generations about a 25-year-old female photographer with a creative artistic vibe, and it'll expand that into a full prompt with all the physical details you need. Then you can just copy that, paste it into open art, and you're good to go. It saves you from staring at a blank box trying to figure out how to perfectly describe your character. Now, before you generate, turn on the auto-enhance option. This automatically makes your prompt better to get better results without you having to be an expert. Set your aspect ratio to whatever works for your project. I usually go with square or portrait for character creation. Then increase the number of images to four so you have options to choose from. Click create and let it generate. Once you've got your result, pick the image with the clearest facial features that represents your idea best. This becomes your base, the foundation of your character's entire visual identity. I'll choose this one for the character we're making. Now this is where most people stop and it's a critical mistake. One perfect image isn't enough to train a truly consistent character model. The AI needs to understand what your character 
character looks like from multiple angles in different poses with various expressions. This is where we use what I call multi-angle expansion. Open up ChatGPT in a new tab and upload your foundation image. Then use this prompt. Generate nine different camera angles and pose descriptions for this same character. Focus only on camera placement and body positioning, not on changing the character's appearance. I want to show this person from different perspectives while keeping their identity consistent. ChatGPT will give you prompts like character seen from the side in profile, character viewed from behind looking over their shoulder, top-down view of character, and so on. These angle-focused prompts let you show your character from every perspective without changing who they are. Head back to OpenArt and switch your model to Nano Banana. Upload your foundation image into the reference section. Then take each of the nine angle prompts from ChatGPT and generate them one by one. Make sure to keep your foundation image in the reference for every single generation. Once you've generated all nine angle variations, you'll want to upscale each one to make sure they're all high quality. Click on each image, then hit the upscale button and select two times plus face. This not only increases the resolution, but also enhances the facial detail, making sure every angle of your character looks realistic. It takes an extra minute per image, but it's worth it because these are the images you'll be using to train your character model. And better quality training data means better consistency in everything you generate later. What you'll end up with is a complete visual library showing your character from front, side, back, three-quarter view, sitting, standing, close-up, and full body perspectives. And because you used Nano Banana, the facial features stay perfectly consistent across all of them. This gives you 10 total images, your original foundation plus nine angle variations. This complete reference library becomes the training data for your character's dedicated model. Now we get to the most powerful part, training your reusable character model. Go back to storytelling, then consistent character, and select start with four plus images. Upload all 10 images of your character. Give your character a name, something you'll remember, because you'll use this name in prompts later. I'll name this one Marcus, then click create character. The training process takes about two to three minutes. During this time, open art is analyzing every aspect of your character's appearance across all the reference images. It's learning facial structure, proportions, skin tone, hair texture, eye shape, and even subtle details like natural expression and energy. What comes out of this training is something remarkable, a dedicated AI model that can generate unlimited images of your character in any scenario while maintaining perfect visual consistency. This isn't just pattern matching or reference copying. The model actually understands your character's identity and can create how they would look in situations it's never seen before. Once training complete, you have a reusable asset that becomes the foundation for all future content creation. Whether you want to show your character in a coffee shop, at a business meeting, or on vacation, the model makes sure they look exactly the same while adapting naturally to each new context. Now comes the fun part, actually using your trained character to create content. Click on your character, then hit create with character. This opens the generation interface where you'll write prompts that include your character's name. There are two key settings you need to know. The first is character weight, which I suggest keeping between 0.7 and 0.8. If it's too high, your character will look stiff and less expressive. If it's too low, their features might start to change. Staying around 0.7 to 0.8 keeps the face consistent while still allowing natural movement. The second setting is keep clothes the same. When this is turned on, the AI tries to maintain everything about your character's appearance from the training images, including clothing and hairstyle. This is useful when you want maximum brand recognition, like if you're building a mascot or brand character. But when it's turned off, the AI maintains your character's face while allowing you to change their outfit, hairstyle, and accessories based on your prompt. This flexibility is crucial for lifestyle content because real people don't wear the same outfit every day. For most use cases, I recommend keeping this off so you can adapt your character to different scenarios. Let me create some actual scenes. I'll write a prompt like this. Marcus, standing in front of a graffiti wall in an urban neighborhood, arms crossed, wearing a black leather jacket and white t-shirt, late afternoon sun, casting long shadows, confident expression. Notice how the prompt includes the character's name, a specific action, detailed environment, lighting description, and the mood I want. Click create and let it generate. The result maintains Marcus's facial features perfectly while placing him in this completely new context. Same face, same proportions, same identity, but in a totally different scene. Let me generate a few more examples to show the consistency. Marcus sitting on a basketball court bench, holding a basketball, wearing athletic gear, golden hour lighting, relaxed but focused look. Marcus in a recording studio with headphones around his neck, standing near a microphone, dim moody lighting with colored LED strips in the background, creative atmosphere. Each image keeps Marcus looking exactly like himself while the environments and situations change completely. This is what true character consistency looks like. Open art also has an incredibly useful feature that lets you animate your character. Once you've generated an image you like, click image to video in the top right corner. This opens the 
video generation workflow. Choose a model like Clink 2.5 or VEO 3.1, depending on what kind of motion you want. Then write a prompt describing the movement, like Marcus nods slowly while looking at the camera, subtle smile forming, natural breathing, slight movement in his jacket. The AI will transform your static image into a short video clip with realistic movement. This is perfect for bringing your character to life in ways that would be impossible with traditional animation. So now you know exactly how to create consistent AI characters that you can use across unlimited projects. You've learned how to build a foundation image, expand it into multiple angles, train a dedicated character model, and generate content that maintains perfect consistency. And because the character model is reusable, you are building an asset that keeps giving you value over time. If you want to start creating your own consistent characters right now, click the link in the description to sign up for OpenArt. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.